so soft it steals my breath away. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so here's Ami removing her little July outfit. All the little strings. So Ami has a more traditional yakata on. So if you saw my last video of me tying it and putting it together, um, I did take them to the Japanese garden here in my little city. Um, so yep, I'm glad I didn't have to tie the obi, but that, it's so cute. And then this is from another outfit. I just combined it with this one because I felt she needed a little more sparkle. And here are all the little ties taking those off at first when I got this piece I thought it would be too long but it's it's like perfect and I love goldfish I love the bubbles I love the little fireworks and everything on this piece so yeah just folding it um, folding this is very similar to folding a, a human size Yakata, so just make sure all the the seams are nice and put together and there you go all nice and folded nice and neat so the collar doesn't get ruined in any way and taking off the little choker um, so when I got Ami um, I didn't realize that she was a darker or a slightly yellower well, they wouldn't say yellow, um, a deeper cream color than Yuna. So we're still working on getting her some jointed fingers. So yeah, and here are some of the pieces that I'll be having her wear. She will have a very similar matching outfit to Yuna. And again, I put the shoes on. I don't know why I keep doing this, but obviously I just really hate myself. So, yep, putting the little shoes on. I think mostly in my mind, I, I think I'll just forget to put them on, which is kind of funny. Now with these shoes, they're a little loose. And I put some bracelets on. And then three, two, one, up. I broke that bracelet. So I'm gonna have to fix that one later, make that one out of elastic. And then just a second ago, I was seeing if the lollipop would actually fit in her hand. The answer is no, but you'll see how I figure out how to get her to hold it. So first we'll put the bloomers on. Same pair as, as Yuna's. And then I learned from Yuna that the um, tank top is going to show her underwear so we're just taking her underwear off and obviously I had to take the bracelet off so that I could get the, the little bralette off struggled a little bit as you can see it's taking a second or two and here we here we go there's the you know, there's the little bralette to protect her skin and then you know as I said in the last video uh, YouTube is very weird about dolls so we're just doing it off camera to be safe and we got the little top on there we go now we're just closing the back up ta-da and just seeing how it all fits setting the little bralette off to the side and here's the skirt it's the same type of skirt that was in my last video I'll have that linked above if you want to check that out I think I'm getting better at voiceovers oh and here is socks aka baby getting really jealous that I'm paying attention 
to the dolls instead of her and her coming to try and help me again. Oh, poke, poke, poke. She's just smelling. She's just a little jealous. So, all right, back to dressing. So I tucked the tank top into the skirt and here's me fighting with the shoes. Okay. Seeing how everything looks and adjusting as needed. Ah, and I think here is where I just adjusting the, the tank top to look a little bit better. Um, Ami has wider hips, so the skirt sits a little higher. Um, so yeah. Ah, this cardigan. This is a cardigan. In my last video, I messed that up a couple times, but oh well. Um, this cardigan is one of my favorites. I got this from 99 Style in Korea. It is so soft and so cute. Um, I'm really impressed with the quality. It's just so adorable. I think I've corded this gray carded cardigan a couple times. So yep, and then this is me testing out the hat. Um, it's not wanting to stay, so I think I just end up giving up a little bit. And now we're putting some hair clips that's off screen, Alex. What are you doing, you you dork? Oh, I am so sorry. Ah, here we are. You can kind of see it in the in the little corner there. I crisscrossed those clips so that they didn't get lost. And then because Ami um, doesn't have... I don't think I have another silver choker, so I put this yellow, I'm sorry, I put this silver star on Ami to mimic Yuna's choker. So, and here's me trying to figure out how am I going to get the lollipop to stay in her hand. And how I ended up doing it was getting a small elastic and like wrapping it around part of the hand as you can see there I'm trying to I'm trying to kind of figure that out so I'm trying to thread it through the small opening in her hand and then I put it around her other little finger well mess that up a little bit so try again so I put it on the lollipop or sucker wherever whatever we want to call it and then I thread the elastic through the little small opening. There we go. Lollipop. Sucker. And then around it again. And well, bam! I got her to hold it. Look at me. So resourceful. Yay! And a small little look. And of course, I'm not like centered. I'll put the hat on in a second once I stand her up. But yeah. I kept the same wig on her. I really like this wig. I think it suits suits her well. So yeah. Okay, here's her standing up. Here's me doing a little spin spin a -roo. I got the hat to finally stay. Pretend that you don't see Yuna in the background. But yeah. I love the little pattern on the cardigan. But yeah, just very summer vibes, like here in the Northwest, our summers are kind of like the, you wake up, the mornings are usually freezing, and then about midway through the day, it starts to burn off the clouds, and then it gets really hot. So we have to do a lot of layering here. But yeah, so that's kind of the inspo behind the outfit. Well, thank you for watching my video. Um, please like and subscribe and help help a human out. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye-bye.